It's easy to underestimate the significant role music plays in helping businesses engage with their customers. Here at SoundNet, we know that creating the right atmosphere through well-executed background music and providing tracks your customers want to hear can be a powerful and commercially rewarding tool for any business, playing a crucial part in encouraging your customers to spend more time with you. The SoundNet background music system is a simple piece of software that you install straight onto your PC. It is the affordable, legal and fully managed background music solution. This video will show you just how easy it is to get started with a SoundNet background music system. We'll take you through the installation process, how you go about setting up a playlist, and most importantly, how you create and schedule playlist timers. The SoundNet background music system is a free software application that has been designed to be installed onto any PC or laptop which meets the very modest minimum requirements seen here on screen. The music selection service can easily be integrated into your current system, completely hassle-free. All you have to do is to create a startup library and watch as the SoundNet background music system manages all your music. We'll take you through it step by step here. If you have an installation disk, please insert and run the program bgmsetup.exe. If you don't have a DVD drive, please call SoundNet and ask for the IT department and we will arrange to send you a set of installation CDs. Once the software has been installed, leave the disk in the drive and double-click on the background music icon on the desktop. The first time the background music program runs, you will be asked to activate the software. Please call SoundNet on 0207 644 and ask for an activation code for background music. You will then receive an activation key. You have now successfully installed the SoundNet background music software. Click Main Menu. Make sure you still have the installation disk in the drive. Click Updates. Once the background music system has found the demo music, click the Update button to load the music. Once the music is loaded, click OK to get back to the main menu. You should now hear the music you installed playing through the sound card you chose earlier. All that is left to set up now are the playlists that suited your venue and schedule them for appropriate times. This can be done by clicking Manage Playlists on the main menu. If you do not set up any playlists, the background music software will play random tracks from all the startup discs loaded. Listed on the left-hand side are the details of the next 10 tracks to be played by the application. The track playing is detailed together with the time left on the track. Above the track name is the playlist name that the tracks are coming from, with the hours the playlist is set to run. Under the current track playing box is the advanced track button. You can reject the track playing at any time by tapping this button and the next track in the queue will fade in as the rejected tracks fade out. This is a seamless and professional sounding transition. The system is set up to ensure continuous music with no gaps or silences. It's important to get the volume setting right on your system and check that it is always set to high. The volume should always be controlled through the amplifier by zones. All tracks provided on the SoundNet system have the volume equalised, so there are no variations in volume you get with home systems. An important feature of a well-executed background music system is being able to vary the style and mood of the music you're playing throughout the course of a day or week for times when you require a change in music to suit a specific day or certain time slot. The SoundNet background music system gives you complete control of the sessions you're playing and allows you to tailor and time your music sessions to suit the audience and required ambience. 
SoundNet can advise or create playlists for you to suit the mood you are trying to achieve. Alternatively, if you are sure of the types of tracks you'd like to play, for example, to your Saturday night audience, this can all be managed within the Manage Playlist section. We'll take you through the features of the Manage Playlist section, so you are able to edit and schedule playlists for yourself. Firstly, click the Manage Playlist box, then on the Playlist Summary page, click New. You'll be invited to set up a new playlist. First, type in the name of this playlist, then click Next. Click on, green or off, white, the radio buttons for each category you wish to select or deselect for this playlist. The number of categories selected is detailed on the bottom left of the screen. You can see the total number of tracks selected and the total playing time for this new playlist. Click Next. Make your selections of any subcategories you wish to include as default and deselect those you do not wish to include. Click Next at any time and you can go back a page by clicking Previous. The next page is the BPM, Beats Per Minute, which will further filter the selection you have made depending on how relaxed you require your session to be. Default is 35 to 222. Mid-beat is 120 to 130. Click the arrows to change the beat ranges. Most tracks are in the mid-range category. It's worth clicking on this to see how many are added or removed by clicking just one beat up or down in this range. Date range. This is very useful to contemporize the selection or to keep tracks within the decade. Again, click the arrows up or down to change the years filtered. When satisfied with the filtering, click Next. All the tracks that fall within the categories and filters you have selected will appear listed by name in alphabetical order within your playlist. You can further review your track selections within the playlist and using the green radio buttons, you can select, deselect. Any changes here means the tracks will be removed or added to this current playlist only. You can skip to the artist required by clicking the alphabet bar at the top of the page. Double-clicking the bar takes you to the artists not in this selection. Click the radio button that is white, changing it to green, and it will be added to the playlist selection. If you wish to construct a playlist track by track, enable a new playlist at the start of the setup process and click Next until you get to the track filtering screen. Then select the tracks you want in the playlist here. All selected tracks should be highlighted with a green radio button. Creating a personal playlist this way enables you to be very specific about the playlist you want. Even call it Dave's Playlist, if you like. When you have saved the playlist and it is scheduled to play, the tracks will be played randomly. The track listings are alphabetical at this stage to make searching easier. When you are happy with the actual track titles, click Next. You will then be presented with the final playlist time screen. Click on or off against the days you want this timer to play. Then, using the arrows, select the start time for this playlist timer and then the finish time for it to end. A warning will be displayed if you have two or more timers that overlap. The highest in the list will be the priority. When you are happy with the days and time for this playlist, click Save. You will go back to the summary screen and the new playlist timer you have created will be at the top and active. If you have created a one-off playlist for playing occasionally, deselect and select when you want it to play. Otherwise, this timer will come on when planned. Now create as many playlist timers as you require for your different sessions. You may have a session in the week that is the same every day and times are the same. However, on a Friday, the times may change, but the track settings don't. For this situation, highlight the playlist most similar to it by clicking it and press Copy. You can now edit the copy however you wish, 
but in this case, you would go straight to the Timers page, Playlist Setup, and change the times and disable the radio buttons for all the days except Friday. Finish and save. The great thing about this system is that once you've made your preferences, the playlists will manage your music selections automatically. All new tracks being loaded on the monthly update will automatically distribute themselves according to the filters you have set. They will add by default, unless you have disabled a certain year or the category, for example, they sit in. Few things in business are this easy, this affordable and this rewarding. The SoundNet background music system is all this and more. We hope this video has been useful in demonstrating how a background music system can work for your business and how easy it is to get started. Should you have any further questions or queries, our support team are here to help. Call us on 0207 644 or email info at soundnet.net.